Hello, uh, November India Zero Zulu here, and uh, going to show you a side-by-side -side, uh, comparison um, of the Flex 5000 and the Onan 100D. Uh, I have a unique setup today. I'm using the RX Loop feature of the Flex 5000. So I have a uh, uh, a splitter, just a manual little coax splitter that runs uh, out of the uh, RX-1 out, feeds back into the RX-1, and also feeds into Antenna 3 on the Onan 100D. Uh, this way, I don't have to uh, use a switch to switch between the antennas. We'll go ahead and close up these dialog boxes. And uh, I'll give you a quick little look here up top. You can see the two SDRs side by side. Okay. And we'll go around back real quick and we'll let you see what it looks like from that perspective. So here's the little manual uh, splitter that I've created. It's a little cable I made up. Uh, again, you can see that's coming out of the uh, RX-1. Going back into the RX-1. And then... Uh, over here on the back of the awning to the uh, antenna port 3. Alright, so now you know how I'm doing this. Uh, this is not going to be a very scientific test uh, and I'm not really sure you're going to see anything here today so uh, we'll probably need to do this again when there's an actual pile up. Let's go ahead and turn up some audio so we'll let Please, you listen. Right this is the 100D. Foam portion of this band. And then when I put it on a roof, I know it's going to work. So, yes, and we've I have added in some flex tuner, audio now. But the tuner is doing nothing. And the only reason I need the tuner is if I need to go to other bands. And I also have a 40 meter dial. Fade phone. out the honor. But that dial is not in a good. Um, it's in a good location, but it's nothing like this. Are you feeding the dipole with coax? So that was fine. I'm feeding it with um, the back uh, in. coax. In fact, when we put on the roof, I even put a... a in fact, my store, it, um, I got a weather head. So the um, the uh, Mini 8 goes through the weather, weather head to um, the Valum. Um, well, you should know and we're using, actually what do you call using a pair of speakers on the Flex with today. The, uh, Surge suppressor or the lightning suppressor in it, and you know, as I said, it works very well, but it's not always what it's not always. Right. Well, let's the, look up you close know, here. Try to tune that dipole to the uh, 100D. You, you have a tremendous uh, loss in the coax itself, even though you tune it with the tuner. Uh, the best thing for multi band is to feed it with uh, the 450 ohm balance line, a 300 ohm. Transmitting it, and then you uh, tune it with the tuner. The SWR won't make a difference. We'll look over at the flex. Uh, even if you can uh, make it tune, it will not be really what that efficient is on, on other That's bands. Yeah, yeah. It's just looking yeah. at uh, See, my cores and that performance. And then I have to show it out the window and this and that. You're right. Um, I will tell you, I don't understand it. Um, sometimes you just don't come in and explain it, but this antenna works. Usually you can go down easier than you can go up, but I can go up to 40. I'm sorry, I can go up to 20, excuse me. I can go up to 20. And it'll work pretty well. Um, I've had people compare me on both bands and they can hardly notice the difference. So, you know, but then they, of course, I have to use the tuna. But, um, uh, needless to say, and it works well on 15, but I probably have ever um, gone, I don't know why, but um, I haven't found 15 All to be right, that, and there you have that it. good for me or whatever.
just on the awning right now. And you're not seeing a lot of difference. restrictions, but I am well satisfied with what I have. I have, uh, I can easily reach uh, anywhere in the world with this setup. Uh, I have, uh, of course, uh, the East Coast. We're on the intercoastal waterway. for joining me. Uh, it's November India, zero Zulu, clear. <laughs> 